Green Lantern uniform into a modified version of Raynard's. Jade continued to function as a Green Lantern until Raynard, as Ion, used his powers to restore her connection with the Starheart. During Infinite Crisis, she died while trying to stop Alexander Luthor Jr. from destroying the universe to create a new multiverse. Upon her death, Jade returned her Starheart power to Raynard. In the Blackest Night event, her remains have been reanimated as one of the Black Lantern Corps. After receiving a Black Power Ring, she was resurrected by Hal Jordan while she was bonded with the White Entity along with 11 other Black Lantern Corps members. Powers! Each Green Lantern, wear, each Green Lantern wields a Power Ring that can generate a variety of effects, sustained purely by the rings where the su sustained purely by the ring wearer's imagination and strength of will. The greater the user's willpower, the more effective the ring. The upper limits of the power's ring the upper limits of the power ring's abilities remain undefined, and it has been referred to as the most powerful weapon in the universe on more than one occasion. It has also been stated that every weapon has a weakness, and the weakness uh, and the weakness a Green Lantern ring has is its wearer. Although some, although some might consider this a strength instead. Across the years, the rings have been shown capable of accomplishing almost anything within the imagination of the ring bearer. At points of great need, the rings have been known to work against things that they shouldn't be able to. But it only seems to be a rare thing and only works at the select one or two. And... It only work, seems to be a rare thing and only works for a select rare one or two, and can't be counted on to work that way again. But the normal powers of the rings seem to be the ability to form pure green energy into all sorts of items. This includes, but not limited to, clothing, weapons, armor, force fields, and other things of the like. But also the ring apparently can give one not only the ability to fly, but fly faster than the speed of light. Ah, yes, the corpses. Wait. The Green Lantern Corps is the intergalactic police force appearing in DC Comics. They patrol the farthest reaches of the DC Universe at the behest of the Guardians, a race of immortals residing on the planet Oa. According to DC Continuity, the Green Lantern Corps has been in existence for 3 billion years. Surviving multiple conflicts, both internal and foreign, currently operating divided as pairs amongst the 3,600 3, sectors of the universe. Over 7,200 7, members, known commonly as Green Lanterns, are established as serving with the corpse. Each Green Lantern is given a power ring, a weapon granting the use of incredible abilities that are, detected, that are directed by the wearer's own willpower. The Black Lantern Corps is a organization of the Bra the Black Lantern the Black Lantern Corps is an organization of reverence appearing in comic books published by DC. The group is composed of uh, the group is composed of deceased fictional characters that seek to eliminate all life from the DC universe. During the creation of the Blackest Night, Johns not being not being interested or frightened by zombies, wanted to bring back the deceased characters in a way that seemed horrifying and emotionally disturbing to the living characters they encountered. To establish that effect, Black, Ra Black Lanterns have personalities and actively seek out those who will be affected by their appearance. Gwen Stacy, Gwen Stacy with the power of death! The Red, the Red Lantern Corps is an organization appearing in comic books published by DC. They debuted in Green Lanterns, Volume 4, Number 25, December 2007, and were created by Jeff Johns and Evan, Evan Van Skiver. Some of their characteristics were inspired by 28 Days Later, which is one of the, which is one of Skiver's favorite films. According to the DC continuity, before. Re before recruiting sentient beings for the Green Lantern Corps, the Guardians formed a robotic army called the Manhunters to maintain order across the universe. After eons of service, a glitch arose within the Manhunters programming, 
leading them to believe that the only way of maintaining order is to completely eradicate the universe of all known life. Their powers seem to be based mostly off of rage. The more famous of the Red Lanterns seems to, act, seems to be Atracurus, the actual leader of the Red Corps. The Blue Lantern Corps debuted in Green Lantern Volume Number Twenty Five. The Blue Lantern Corps debuted in Green Lantern Volume Four, Number Twenty Five, December Two Thousand Seven, and were created by Jeff Johns and Evan Van Skiver. First formed by the banished former Guardians, Garnet. Gantret and Syed, they are based on the planet Adim, and their powers are fueled by the emotion of hope. Their more popular members being Saint Walker and Brother Warth. The White Lantern Corpse was created by Sinestro of Korgar, bonded with the entity, the embodiment of life itself. Each White Lantern Corps member possesses the power ring that gives the user access to white energy constructs powered by life itself. The original wielder of the entity, Sinestro, showed the ability to eradicate swarms of Black Lanterns effortlessly with the effortlessly and is described as godlike. Members include and I quote, Swamp Thing, the chosen one that took the entity's place. Former members include Sinestro, Hal Jordan, Superman, Green Arrow, Kit Flash, Superboy, Wonder Woman, The Flash, Donna Troy, Ice, Animal Man, Batman, and Dead Man. Sinestro Corpse, otherwise known as the Yellow Lantern Corpse, is a group of villains led by the supervillain Thal Sinestro. In the attempt of making a supposed group of Green Lanterns, they are powered by Parallax and they are powered by the Parallax Entity, a space parasite that is an embodiment of fear and was imprisoned within the central power battery in Oa. As time passed, the Entity became known as the Yellow Impurity as the cause of the Green Lantern Ring's weakness to the color yellow. Prominent ye members of the Yellow Lantern Corps include anti -Martyr, Thal Sinestro, Parallax, Cyborg Superman, Hawk, Hank Hens Henshaw, Cyborg Superman, always known as Hank Henshaw, and Superboy Prime. The biggest event to happen. The biggest event to happen with Green Lanterns recently is the Darkest Night event. This event sees dead heroes and villains across the DC Universe becoming active as members of the Green Lantern, the Black, active members of the Black Lanterns Corps, combining Black Lanterns with the new DC characters Flash, Adam, and Mera. Jordan fights alongside high-profile members of every corps in the emotional spectrum and, overse and oversees new DC characters' in inductions into the. the and oversees new DC character introductions into all of the other corps. Jordan and his Jordan and his new guardians move with the new power corps members to combat the Black Lanterns and Necron directly. Blackest Night. We start the Blackest Night uh, story with, in Gotham City. Black Hand removes the skull from Bruce Wayne's grave and carries it around with him as a Black Lantern power battery begins to charge. The Guardians of Oa observe the War of Light and realize that Garnet and Sade have been right but kept are, are right but kept from intervening by Scar, who swiftly kills one of the imprisons the who, kill, who swiftly kills one and imprisons the rest. Thousands of black rings assault the corpse, crypt, creating black lantern corpse as Hal Jordan. As Hal Jordan and the newly revived Flash investigate Bruce Wayne's grave and, uh, and are attacked by black lantern Martin Manhunter, Martian Manhunter. 
On all all green lanterns are met by the formerly deceased lanterns now reborn as black lanterns. Hawk girl, hawk man are killed by black lanterns. Elongated man and Sue Divney uh, uh, Elongated man and Sue Divney also join the growing black corpse. Adam is tricked by a Black Lantern Hawkman to into investigating the dead man. Into in, visiting him and dead man. The Adam is tricked by a Black Lantern Hawkman into visiting him, and dead man is the first to realize the dead are not their true selves. When this physical when his physical body revives as a Black Lantern while he is still free. Aquaman and his Black Lantern family attack Mira who flees. A black ring strikes the specter, binding the spirit with... Binding the spirit while receiving... Crypsis Allen as the Black Lantern. The rings are reveal the rings are revealed to be unable to revive dead who are at peace, such as Don Hall and even Hank. Unable to revive the dead who are at peace, such as Don Hall, even as Hank rises. In Gotham, Flash and Hal Jordan are Confronted by several Black Lanterns, including Ronald Raymond. How the Flash bow Black Lanterns? <laughs> to be honest, I'm not totally sure about all of the events of Darkest Night. I can spell Darkest. To be honest, I'm not sure about all the events of Blackest Night, but I do know that a plethora of people were brought back, including an attempt to bring back Bruce Wayne before he was done with his time-traveling stuff. However, it seems that a large amount of the uh, Silver Age and Golden Age characters were brought back from the dead to uh, attempt to assassinate their new current counterparts. The central story of Blackest Night involves a personified force of death resurrecting the resurrecting deceased superheroes and seeking to eliminate all life, and, all life and motion from the universe. Jeff Johns has identified the series serial theme as emotion. The crossover was published for eight months via limited via a limited series as well as both the Green Lantern and Green Lantern Corps comics titles. Various other limited series and tie-ins were also published. But in the end, it's also the attempt of resurrecting Batman is realized by Hell to be actually a fake Batman, as Bruce Wayne is actually still alive somewhere. Which then ties back into the event with uh, Bruce Wayne coming back from the past. And whereas it is currently believed that the White Lanterns were officially done and over with, it appears that recently a crater was found with a new white power battery within it. Perhaps we have our answer to how we shall apparently stop the threat of Black Lanterns again. But that's all I really know about this right now. The synopses are kind of sketchy and very long-winded, and the details are kind of confusing for anyone who's really not a Black Lantern. The best idea is to possibly find a paperback and read it yourself. A pa uh, find a paperback collection and read it yourself. Alrighty, if you need me again, you know where to find me. Catch you all later.